previously on Euro Truck Simulator 2. Countryside. Is that the same car transport? I think it is, isn't it? It seems to be going the same direction as me. You got a little bit of a march on me when we when I when I got sort of when we went through uh, Prague there and uh, we did a number of other things. So we got a little bit of a march on me. Oh look, police car stopped a truck. Bad truck. He must have been speeding. He must have been trying to get to his next uh, lord or something similar. Hi, and welcome back. We're here. However, as you can see in the centre of the screen, disaster has struck, I suspect. You see, the game has been updated, and the game has detected... The game change is detected to avoid game-safe compatibility issues due to the change in the world. Unfinished deliveries were cancelled, with no penalties to you. If necessary, your truck was reparked in a safe place. Oh, dear. This could mean we are back, after all our effort, we are back in the United Kingdom, back at the original um, garage, still trying to make our way across, which means that we have a new mission. There is a new mission in mind. The mission is to get to somewhere sort of central within the, the, the maps that are available, which is basically going to be Germany. So let's find out whether the disaster has struck in the sense of where we're actually at after all that that effort to get us across into uh, um, Poland and over the last three weeks let's see where we're at okay I'm a bit terrified to do this let's just check the world map it has we're back in Liverpool we're back at the safest possible place in Liverpool we are in the garage in Liverpool Right, we have 219,000 euros in the bank. Um, it is more than enough. I think about between 150 and 200,000 will get us a new garage. So what we want is we want a garage somewhere in Germany here. We want to be over here. We want to get to, to either Munich, Stuttgart, uh, Salzburg, um, and we want to put a garage here so it gives us easier access it's kind of central-ish yeah it could be um central enough maybe even over in prague we need to get over there um but that's going to be a couple of couple of couple of um episodes to get there um so that we can actually get into europe and stay in europe when it next time it resets it'll send us the closest um safe base which will be somewhere in um well hopefully in europe so so we basically there is a there's a good there's a good reason now to find um, a possible garage um, that is available to us. I'm just zooming in here, see if there's anything we can see. There's one here. It's 900 miles away. We're not going to go that far, but if there is one there, for instance. That's an example. That's a possible. That's a possible option there in 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 that 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 estate. So so um, we could definitely do that. We're definitely going to do that. 900 miles. We're first we're going to head to, probably into to to to, to 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 Holland or into France. We're going to first get into there, and we're going to go from there. That was a bit of a disaster because we go all the way over here to uh, Katowice. I don't know. Kat Katowice. Katowice. I don't know where it. What how you pronounce it? Sorry, I apologise if I'm absolutely mangling somebody's somebody's country um, um, city name there. But but that's the aim. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have to get ourselves another garage in here, um, preferably in the scenario where we can at least hire another truck and another driver. I may have to borrow another hundred thousand from the bank. But that's the plan. We need another truck there uh, as a as a way back. Um, to do to do to do what we need to do so we're uh, yeah a bit of a nightmare never mind um it could have been it could have been worse so let's change the music and let's get my radio stations on and do that and this is easily done by the way if you want to do your own music um you can just change it by copying it to a, a mo music folder that's inside your documents if you've got a windows machine um i'll i'll maybe leave little instructions below or at least somewhere link to 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 some to where you need to put your mp3s and that's where they need to go Okay, <clears throat> let's get in our truck and let's go find a job. Bit of a disaster there. After all that work, I never expected an update so quickly. I suspect there's another um, set of maps not too far off, is there, that are coming. So um, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Right, start the engine. Let's put the headlights on because it is... Oh, no, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. We'll put the side lights on. Disengage the, 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 the brake. 
Right, let's have a little look. So there are there are a couple of um, places around here. There's that uh, in the if you look down in the uh, GPS there in the the bottom uh, bottom right hand corner. Um, you can see there's that uh, Trammere thing, or whatever it's called, the NBFG. They probably have something interesting. Let's go see them for a change, because that other one's got quite a tight turning to get into. Well, I bet that's my, but that's my normal. That's one of my driver's cars, isn't it? I bet you. There's a few cars over there actually looking out the window. Look. I want to stop a second. I'm looking out the window. Look. Somebody's driving something quite fancy. Well, the back one is, I think. It looks a little fancy. It's a Peugeot of some sort, isn't it? It's a reasonably fancy one. Play, clearly playing them too much. <laughs> right. Uh, wrong side of the road as well. Uh, well, to, to my point of view. No, wouldn't indicate the other way. There we go. Checking, checking as we go. Irritating. That was so irritating. I can't believe that happened. Gonna go. We're gonna go around here. We're gonna try that that one there because they've got a huge yard. That one there. That that NBFG people. They've got a really big yard. So 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 let's hope let's hope for something good. Wrong side of the road for them for this truck. It's terrible. It's really hard actually. You, you, you know that I was I, I was saying in the comments um, about driving on the other side of the road. It, some sometimes it's just it's really weird. It's kind of an, a, an odd thing. Oh, it's trans it's chemicals, petrochemicals. It looks like. They're coming up too. It does feel odd, especially you know being a UK driver and whatever else it is. But anyway, let's go. Let's go. Right, this big petrochemical place. Hopefully, they'll have something good for us. Well, I've got a cool box anyway, so we still got. We got our sandwiches. We're ready to go. We're ready for. We're ready to work, work our way across. And there's lights are changing across the way there. And we're going. Sun dappling through the the, the, the the cooling towers there of whatever that is. Alright, let's see if we can get a decent load here. In we go. Anywhere into Europe is fine, as long as we get in there. We need new planets to get there and then we'll then we'll try and head um further east. Okay, let's press enter and let's see what loads are available here on the freight market within this area. Okay, I think it's going to be this one. That is a 8 hour and 57 minutes, including ferry crossing. It takes us just into the top of France to Lille. Lille? I think it's Lille, isn't it, in France. 18 tonnes of kerosene. Ooh, explosive load. And is this just in time as well? Standard delivery. See, it gives you a little bit of information here. See, I've got a class thing so I can drive um, explosives. That one's a just in time. That one's a class three again with explosive. That's an urgent delivery, so it has to be done as soon as possible. So there's more money on that. But we're going to go with that one. We're going to go with this top one. We're going to take this and get this into France. And let's get out of the UK and back into the, back abroad. We just need to get somewhere realistically. From my point of view, I just want to get. I just want to get to, in across to sort of you know and get across the the the, the channel and into to Europe. So there we go. There's our loading bit. Let's do this. Need to practice my reversing. It's absolutely horrendous. But I don't know whether or not doing it with something explosive is a good idea. But anyway, we'll we'll, we'll do that. All right. Okay. Let's pop this in reverse. Just reversing, looking in the mirrors. To be honest with you, all the time. The funny thing about it is that that I, I you know I learned a long time ago. You can rely on you can you can you know you obviously you, you use your brain as well, but. Um, I tend to rely on the. Uh, I, I use my mirrors in my own car more than I. Uh, the, you know, I don't look up from my shoulder necessarily. I look at the mirrors. So I'm just checking that we're how lined up we are. That's cool. Right, let's press T for trailer and let's load that up. There you go. See, it's spinning there on the edge. That's kind of cool, isn't it? So there's a shot for the uh, for the for the for the for the channel later. <laughs> there's the top down view. Right. Okay. Let's go back and let's get going. Let's get out of here. It's a good weight, wasn't it? I think it was 18 tons. This one, so it's 18 tons of kerosene. So uh, uh, it's it'll be explosive enough, I think. I don't think I don't think there'll be any worries about it, how how well it'll blow up um, if if we have a, a huge impact. Yep. 
definitely no worries about it exploding. <laughs> car there, I can see them. So, we're sitting in this position, it's very difficult. I've got a fluffy dice. Or fuzzy dice. Now, that's interesting. I, I, so that was a comment on my, my uh, Twitter the, about, about the fuzzy dice. Um... And where where they kind of came from, and it, apparently it was World War II. Um, I think it was bomber pilots actually. They were kind of for look, and they had those. They had them in within their planes to, to, to for look. But I'm not entirely sure the rest of the story. I was all I just looking up and said, where do they come from? And it's where they come from. So I have my fluffy dice, and we are we are loaded. There's a car right underneath me, just whizzing right around. I'm going round, coming off at this junction. That's it, 30 miles per hour. Wrong, wrong, should be over, over laying over, but we'll, we'll move over, surely. Here we go. Right, we've moved over. Speeding a little bit there. Let's not speed too much. So, we have 8 hours and 55 minutes to go, 428 miles. Probably approximate time for, for this journey in, in real terms is probably about 40 minutes. Uh, we've got a little stop off. I'm going to assume that we're going to use the channel tunnel. Uh, that seems to be the, the, the prefer, preferred way of getting over there, especially where we're coming out, to be honest with you. No need for a ferry this time around. There we go. This, they've got the lights on. I'm going to put mine on as well. There we go. A bit brighter. 7.36 a.m. We're on our move. Oh, we're on the move. Explosive load this time around. But it's all good. We can get up to 50 miles per hour. We're going to do go go for that. Gutted that we ended up uh, being re-spawned um, back at the home base. But again, uh, the game always tries to protect you from from yourself, almost you know, from or from itself being broken by by you not uh, not having a sort of a, a, a decent save, I guess. Uh, being halfway through a mission, it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? But it does actually force. Forces what what I what what what, what I don't really mind, which is it forces uh, the 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 the, the uh, sort of uh, come on over in front of that uh, truck there. Um, forces you to kind of uh, um, you know look for other lo other garages. I, if I had redone this back in the beginning, I would probably have chosen to start in Germany. Um, and I would probably uh, put a, a garage in Germany because the, ma the the bulk of the game is spent enjoying the the roads outside sort of that kind of area. So so yeah, it kind of makes sense to to, to 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 do that. So yeah, I think I think I would have I would have definitely chosen to to um, uh, you know be somewhere else. I'm coming over. Because I need to be in this, you know, sort of more central in Europe or anywhere in Europe. Realistically, I think I would have done. I mean, it's it's nice going from the UK, and obviously I chose the UK because that's kind of my my home gr home ground or stomping ground, if that makes sense in real world. Um, but in the in the Euro Truck world, it would have been more sensible to find somewhere absolutely spot on, middle of the centre thing, so you didn't get sent right back. And to be fair, you really need, I think, you need probably need garages on the outskirts as well, like the corners of the. As I, you know, I know the world's round, but, if, but in the Euro Truck world, it's it, it's got it's got corners. So so I I I can imagine that you know the 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 other thing would be good to have you know a thing in. Whoa, I'm I'm blasting along he's he's really slow chucking it past that truck really chucking it today got plenty of diesel i think i think we've got enough enough to get us there might stop off on the way we'll see can't use kerosene unfortunately well maybe you can actually i don't know i don't think you can i think it's very oily as a kerosene or is it the other way around you'll know somebody will put it in the comments below that's for certain so but uh um, 61 we're getting a bit of speed up for a change we're really we're really motoring this time round so uh, 8 hours and uh, 10 minutes to go 392 90, 92 miles exactly 92 miles estimated time of arrival is um, 430 1627 on our way really motoring Not exactly got our foot down, but we're we're just we're just we're just doing it. It's one of those um, Ford Mustangs in front. I always quite like that they put Ford Mustangs. There's loads of them in the game, though. It's kind of awesome. 
Let's see if we don't we don't run into anything this time round. We did run into yet again. Um, I think it was in the last episode we ran into to to yet more sort of diversions that we had to take and going round. Yeah, it was absolutely was the last episode. We had to go through Prague um, uh, as a diversion because yet of another I guess spilled load or something similar. I didn't to be fair this time round. I didn't do what I did last time round, which is barge through the the police blockade and go round it. Because uh, I was I was very naughty last time around. I barged through it a couple of episodes ago. I barged through a police uh, um, sort of you know detour uh, and, and took a and and got a full size sort of view as I took pushed down the hard shoulder of like a naughty fella I was um, and had a little look at the the whole thing. Well, I'll turn the lights off. It's light enough now. Eight thirty eight. As we go across here, Ooh, that car nearly got squished. That's just, that'll teach me. said this before, sometimes though, it's like looking a different direction, you start steering the other. Um, it happens in this as well. Didn't mean to. Accidental. Yeah. What a lovely day this is turning out to be. Lovely morning. Very enjoyable. I haven't had the rain for ages though, if I'm honest. Not rain for ages. Uh, tempting, but I'm I'm not going to. I'm going to put the side lights back on again because it's a bit overcast now. I said I haven't seen rain for ages. This is where it's going to pour rain. Mind you, to be fair, when I'm recording this, it is June, so in Britain that means rain. <laughs> yeah. Fifty miles per hour. Obviously, some kind of hazard on the road. That car beside me is very close. Another Mustang. Told you there's a few. Yeah, I've put my side lights back on just just for you know, not that you're going to miss this dirty great rig, but but uh, but but you you might you might run into it. It might be it might be a it, it might just be a hazard to the to the to the traffic on the road. Okay, he's ex gonna accelerate up. I'm hoping so. Right, con cruise control off again, and we're gonna put the foot down. He's gonna accelerate up. There we go. 60 miles per hour. Just just uh, taking it nice and slow. Nice and slow. 60 miles per hour with 18 tons of kerosene attached to the back of it. <laughs> Yep, taking it slow. <clears throat> no, nothing to see here. Retarder kicking in again there as I go downhill. Um, it's it's basically adding engine braking to to, to to the wheels. So it's a little yellow light on the dash next to it. It's gone off. Just gone off now. Uh, just we're just we're just cruising quite nicely. Sixty. They're just coming off there, and I'm just blasting my way through. Plowing my way through, making my way across. So we have seven hours and eight minutes to go, 342 miles. I'm just going to come over. I probably shouldn't have done, but I am. If this comes off at this next one, I need to be back over. The computer car behind me can just wait. There we go. And we're still going towards Birmingham, making our way south. Just to the north of France. And get those. Get to the. Get to the beaches. I will right, we'll stick with this one because it's going towards London now. We're not coming off for Birmingham. We want to be keeping on going. Just. Just getting along the road here. This will be coming off shortly, I would think. I feel like I'm whizzing today because normally when you're in uh, the European roads, it seems to be like 50 miles per hour. Seems to be the the more uh, a normal kind of speed if that makes sense the the United Kingdom is just we just whiz in the United Kingdom I mean it was nice actually though building up to it in the United Kingdom that I mean I said if I read if I redid this I would start with definitely with a with a garage in in Europe but 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 when I first started playing this it was nice because I kind of I had I had my my uh, my truck set up with the with the uh, um, you know the, the 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 right hand sort of uh, drive for the UK, um, and it was right for driving around the UK and getting that initial practice. You know that sort of initial sort of driving around, and now once you've got it, 
yeah, that you really want to get onto the, 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 the onto the main continent and sort of uh, and 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 fly around on the roads because there's lots there's lots to be seen and it makes more sense. It's easier, also easier to see because you don't have to look over the you know the passenger side like that when you try to do something. It's really annoying. Um, so so you know it's quite it's quite difficult to to sort of. Uh, you know, the, the quantify the, the differences. I mean, it's good for running along the edge of the road here. I mean, I'm absolutely bang on the edge of the road here. I'm feeling nice and tight to the to the side of the road when I need to be because, of course, the, I'm sitting right on top of it. It's as I say, it's just difficult when you see things coming up the inside, sort of the outside of you. Um, once you once you once you're on it. I mean, you can, to be fair, you could knock around the entire, you know, British Isles if you wanted and just do missions and missions, deliveries around the British Isles. You could, I mean, you could, you could make quite a nice business just knocking around there, to be honest. Reasonable length of journey, sort of a couple of hundred miles everywhere, nothing, nothing, nothing horrendous, if that makes sense. What have we got now? Which, where do I need to be? The, 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 we're coming up, I think we need to be over. I'm going to go over. I've gone over. There's a car behind me. If he overtakes me, he overtakes me. If he doesn't, he doesn't. He doesn't seem to be making... Oh, he's, he's making a move. He's making a move. Don't want to be coming off at Sheffield. I want to be going on to the... Uh, to London. There, yeah, he's coming past now. Speed's dropped. National speed limit again. There we go. Back up to 60. Let's get the cruise control off and get the foot down. That's a silly um, little tiny little bit of road there. Three lanes for no particular reason. Look at that. You can even go straight off again there. Look at that. What a, what a loop that is. Kind of like what the Euro truck guys did with the roads, actually. They 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 they, they feel quite logical, don't they? I I think they do anyway. Certainly certainly more. Um, the, the, I know it's computer constructed. I mean, and you could, if, if you hindsight's a wonderful thing when it comes to construction of roads, uh, but uh, they do feel quite quite nice. The roads. What's that over there? It's some kind of industrial factory thing with with uh, what's it got going on? Some cranes and things. Look at that. Hmm. Interesting. I always quite like it that there's at least a few landmarks that you can find here. Services to 200 yards now. We're gonna we're gonna again pass on these ones, and we're gonna keep on going. A couple of episodes ago, I was so desperate for a break in the game um, that I pulled in the wrong way into into a service station. Um, that was that was quite. <laughs> I can't believe I did that, but at the same time. Yeah, I can. <laughs> Wrong side of the road was the service station, and, 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 and basically I wasn't meant to turn in one particular way, I was going to go in the other way, but uh, I still ploughed through it. I might as well. <laughs> Nobody was stopping me. Nobody was stopping me. I think I've got to come over again here. Yeah, I'm going to come over now while this car's not looking. There we go, we're over. Right, ploughing on. Yep, so what we're looking for is we're looking for a possible, um, uh, I don't know, destination, location, garage that we can use within um, Europe somewhere. So we'll do this first journey here, which I think makes sense, um, and get this one out of the way. And next next episode, we, we got a couple, say about 400 miles to, de to, to, to deal with. So that should more than more than adequately get us to a place where we should be able to find ourselves the garage the one that we're going to have that's going to put me in the middle of europe which is going to be handy um we're then going to have to look at you know possibly purchasing another truck um i don't know how far we're going to have to go with that we may have to borrow some more money from the bank oh wish me luck and um, borrow some more money and hire another driver get them on long distance we'll we'll see yeah wish me luck with the, the bank i still owe them uh 390 or 340,000 euros but we so far we've been quite a successful business we've uh, we've got two drivers that are pulling the weight um, generating enough income to cover the the um, loans which is good I mean we've got 200,000 euros in the bank which is a good good thing 219,000 so we've almost got the cost of the, the thing I've got I mean if you take the to be fair the cost of the rigs I mean I'm driving I would say is it 100, 160,000 euros worth of rig um, I need to come over yeah thanks 
um, you know, 160,000 euros worth of rig. Okay, resale value is probably nowhere near that amount of money, but um, yeah, I mean, it's got, still got. It's not got a huge number of miles on it, so I, I'm, I'm going to say there's still there's still maybe 120,000 euros worth of stuff. I've got a garage with worth 160,000. Um, euros. I've got two um, other trucks. They were both 90k a piece, 90,000. So, so we got a decent. And in you know, you would have enough money to pay back a bank loan, and you'd have 216, 19,000 that I've got in the bank here um, with it as well. So, you know, we're not uh, on the scale of things, not doing badly. You know, we're not doing badly at all. We, 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 we you know, I think we can we can fairly say that uh, you know, as a, a business, we are quite. We've got profits. We're working really well. Actually, we'll have a look at the bank when we get pulled up um, because um, we want to see where so we're actually at because that'll be interesting to see. I'm coming over. I'm upsetting those cars behind me, by the way. They can't overtake me. So as we're going to... Um, I think... Where was it? Is it Folkestone, I think, isn't it? Where's the, where the thing is. Even though it's... Oh, Felixstowe. No, it's Felix though, isn't it? Where, where the, the Euro truck thing is, I think. But you don't come off of this one, you come off further along. Good old A14. So we've skirted round London, would you believe? Already, I think. I think. We're on the way anyway. <laughs> come on back over. We'll make our way across. Service is 200 yards. No, we're going to leave that one as well. We're still okay. A little. If you look down on the um, GPS there in the bottom right, you've you've got again the, the miles per hour, the speed um, that I'm currently doing, 55, 56, and then you've got the gear, um, automatic 12, the damage to the truck, uh, the fuel gauge, and the the bed is the how tired I am. Um, driving tired is not a good thing. It's findable offence within the game, and eventually I think it finds you very heavily, and you you're like fully awake. Um, but but I don't, is that right? I think it is. Yes, I think we've done it before on one of the episodes. We've, but your eyes start to twitch shut. It's kind of a. To be fair, that's a lovely touch that you you know that you become that tired. I mean, but there's a legal requirement as a truck driver to to um, take breaks. I think it's every is it every ten hours. I might be wrong. Um, but you have a legal requirement, and they measure that. There's a they they have a what's known as a taco in each um, vehicle. It's usually electronic nowadays, um, and that kind of measures the the driving you have done, um, you know, when the brakes are and all this kind of stuff. And they submit it to 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 I don't know who it's submitted to actually Department of Transport I guess. Don't know. I don't know how they fine on that. They I guess they must fine. They must fine businesses. Oh, wind there, coming from the. Could we from, I don't know, from the east, I think? Because we're going south, aren't we? West. Oh, God knows. No, east. Yeah, east. If we're facing south, then east is to, to my left. Oh, look at that. Thinking about it too much. Services. Oh, little services is properly off the road, that one. Been down this road before. We have definitely been down this road before. We've done, we've done, this, we've done this journey a few times. Worn it out, basically. Worn it out with our little driving. Okay, so let's have a re recap of time. We are 226 minutes out, 4 hours and 42 minutes. So so not much longer, really, on the road. Because um, we've also got a little little 20-minute journey, if we're going by train, is the usual time before we're extracted. Only 20 minutes is amazing, really. I mean, to be fair, it's only a 20 minute to 20 miles under the sea, so 20 minutes is probably a very fair amount of time that you should be on the, 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 the Eurostar. Let's get our speed up here. We're just ploughing along beautifully. Okay. There we go. Just I'm just watching just watching the road here. Am I going to London or Folkestone? I think uh, uh, Felix I think we've got Felix though. I've just pulled in front of that truck a bit harshly. Sorry, truck. Uh, the truck, I mean car. I was a bit bit off the bit a bit 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 naughty there. Last second, I kind of changed my mind. I want to be on the M25 going round yet? Yeah, Felix Stowe is the, the destination. So there was actually another route to go to Felix Stowe there. And one of these days, I must take that as a, a um, route as a as a as a possibility. Um, okay, sticking here, get us to come across. We are, we're going to come across. We're ploughing on nicely. 
very relaxing actually nice drive nice relaxing drive just a real sort of uh, you know even if the music isn't that relaxing right now but uh, but it's quite nice to just have a little a little sort of enjoy the enjoy the road and and and, and heading on out 12 um oh nine 12 10 so just past uh, midday sun is sort of out it's typical sort of british weather um and we have basically we're on the m25 making a circling london circling london i don't think the m25 has never ever been this empty before <laughs> but we're circling round oh and we're t trying the hard shoulder out for for size there because i was moving the mouse to stop my 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 recording thing actually moving that's my excuse i wasn't bad driving i was looking a different direction and driving the other as usual yeah 25 has never been so empty we've got uh, 192 miles to go four hours uh time set is uh, the, the arrival time is uh, 4 uh, 22 so it's not bad we're doing okay we're reasonable for our sleep thing you can't sleep unfortunately on the uh, on the um, ferry oh we might be going to Dover it seems to be taking us off here maybe it's a ferry journey yeah it's saying Dover here oh if it is Dover then we will get asleep on the on the ferry they almost always we always almost always give the opportunity to do that I mean at 1231 I think I'll be looking for my 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 uh, my, uh, my lunch at this point we've got the cool box nice cool uh, um, fizzy drink of some sort what was that one that was years ago wasn't it there's the old uh, roller cola wasn't it or something similar that was called I don't think that's a real cola though I think that's like it's made up by people. I always heard the name. I'm sure it was made up. I didn't think there was a roller cola for real. That truck was right underneath me there. Right, okay. He's going slower than I am, though. He's speeding up. Oh, he's backed off. He's backing off. He's backing off. Oh, I don't think I've been down this road. Don't think we've taken... Have we not taken the ferry from Dover before? I suppose that's possible. Wow, look at this. A lovely big viaduct going over the top of... Uh, the fields and the, the, the villages and things like that. There's a big industrial thing now, though, amongst that those villages. It's a church down there. You see it? Wonderful. No, I've not been this road before. Well, certainly not on the other side of it, by the looks of things. It's still grey on the other side, so it means I haven't been on the other side of the road. Probably never come back this way. It's not one of those things you need to go back via. Right. We're just powering along nice and nice and gently. 56 miles per hour. That truck can't work out what it's doing behind us. Down two lanes. I've shuffled over. Actually, that truck's in the best position now because there's a car underneath him. Let's hope there's no accident. You can see him in the uh, left-hand mirror there. Yeah, the car pulled past him smoothly enough. Oh eased off there sorry forgot to put the cruise control on I think I might put that on now there we go stuck the cruise control on at 56 because it didn't seem to be I, was, I seem to be struggling a little bit getting past that up to 60 miles per hour I don't think we're going downhill now <laughs> we found the curve in the earth it's not flat well unless you play a Euro truck simulator because then everything stops at certain places <laughs> okay we're going for it Gently making it. Bird in the sky there. Some of that. Can't see it. Car's going past me. I'm just riding on the on the curb there. Naughty mate. Yep, Dover. Are we doing Dover? Another one of them Mustangs. Loads of them. I just squared it up there by pushing the button. I've got a button for various views. One is kind of like the dynamic one we can roll around the truck. Um, the other one is the uh, the sort of square one where I am now, which is like centralised sitting in the truck, sitting forward. Um, and then you've got... Uh, I've got to come over this one. And then you've got uh, the one that's top down, which is quite handy for parking. Can you imagine, though, that it's almost... You know, the funny thing is, can you imagine, that could actually be quite useful if you're a truck driver. 
but but I think there's a actually I actually think there's a way of doing it. I think that if you placed in every cab um, a drone that was linked to the the cab that could you know charge by the cab and whatever else is, then that flew upwards and then filmed. Um, obviously, it would it would have to check for height and all the other stuff while it was doing it. But I I think that I think that's actually a possibility. There you go. I've invented something. If somebody comes up with that, by the way, and patents it, I'm, I want my share because that that's a damn good idea. You know, a drone in the cab here that flies up, obviously with a height thing so it doesn't bash into the top, flies up and gives you a sort of surround down and then on the dash gives you that overhead view. That would be actually really, really cool. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt there with your, with your truck turning. I wasn't sure you'd been able to make that very tight turn. Anyway, but uh, yeah, no, that would be cool, wouldn't it? Because then you could look in your dash... And get that 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 the, you get that view. That would be cool, or I think that would be cool, wouldn't you? Don't think that'd be cool. I wonder if they've thought of that. I'm sure somebody's thought of that. Clever people have thought of that. I could see some advantages though. You know, it flies up from the cab. Um, you know, you tell it the size of something similar, or even give it give your give your person some some control over the drone a little bit. You know, make sure it stabilizes and do whatever else it is, and a little bit of control over it to sort of fly back a little bit. Um, put it over the top of it, and then tell it to sort of lock and track, and the drone will lock and track while you're doing it. And you could you could see what was going on. How useful would that be? I know they've got cameras on the back of trucks now, don't they? They can get little cameras that can see what we do in the back of them. But, but I, I just think that would be really handy. Right. We're almost to wherever our destination is here. We are 131 miles away. We're looking we're looking a bit tired now. Um, not awfully tired, but we are looking a little bit tired. Fuel's okay. We probably need to, to get some of that when we get a chance. All right. We're going to join this road. We're not going to Dover. We're going to Southampton by the looks of things. Okay, I have no idea. Right, come on then. You come round there. No, no idea where we're going to. Can't remember. Do you know, there's so many times I've come out of this country and I had to go via one of these, a ferry or a Euro truck and a, and a Euro truck, Eurostar, and I always forget. Oh, sugar. See, damn, that was one of those one of those most helicopter. Look. Oh wow. Can't hear it. Probably be able to hear it in the real world. Helicopter though. Oh no, look, police car. <gasps> Lots of police car. Oh my god, sports car. Ferrari rubbernecking that one. Little Ferrari. Oh, that was that must have had the police and chase ca chase cams going and everything that one. Awesome! Wow, that was a bit of drama from us for us journey. I like the drama we have on these journeys, you know. It's always nice when we get a little bit of drama. Three police cars and a helicopter to to run that that, that I think it was a Lamborghini, wasn't it? And we run that Lamborghini down, cheeky monkey. So is this? Where is this? I have no idea. It's pointing towards Southampton, but I don't think it's Southampton. But we're definitely going. We're going Eurostar. I have, do you know something? I must do some more geography. I'm terrible with the geography. I have a rough idea where some things are, not everything, because um, I'm absolutely crap at some things. Um, but but uh, must work out my European geography a bit more. This game does help though. Never did geography beyond what we're for the age it is fourteen or whatever else it is when you have to change your options in the UK. Never did, never did beyond that. Right, I need to look up one of these for the truck. There's a truck option. One of these is a truck one. What's truck one? Truck, 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 truck. No trucks. Truck. There we go. See the little truck sign. That's the one with the green. Right, let's find our carriage. There'll be this one here that's that's open. So nice and slow. No speed limit on the UK side. When you get to France, there's a speed limit on the, 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 the roads getting into it. Right. 
So what we need to do is we need to be absolutely square about coming in here. So um, we need to swing in hard shortly. But not hit anything. Yeah, oh my god, that's perfect. Did you see that in that mirror? In the sense of doing it. I mean, we're not actually square, because when you hit this, it doesn't really matter. It kind of squares us out automatically. <laughs> right, we'll cheat. But anyway, right, okay, we are going to Kelly. There we go. 35 minutes, 300 euros. Bargain. Here we go. It's kerosene, Lil. 18 tons, we are off. I did have the engine started. I think the brake's off already. Right, where are we going? Disengage the brake. Yeah, okay. I thought it was off already, but it wasn't. It was on. I took it off and then put it back on again thinking it was already off. Right, here we go. I like the way you can see it, actually. It's down there by the uh, bottom of the GPS. On the, the little bit left to the left of the bottom corner of the the, the, the bottom left of the GPS, um, it's there that, that you can see. You can actually see it. I like the way that you push the buttons there. I do. I've been playing another um, sort of simulator game. I've been playing Bus Simulator, and in that, um, it allows you to push all the keys on the keyboard on on the console and the tr on the on the bus. It's quite 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 cool, actually. If you ask me. Okay, here we go. Oh, she's pulling. Oh, she's pulling. That's a heavy load. Come on. Come on. All 460 brake horse go in there. On this truck. Let's do that. And round we go. Alright, let's go for it. We're getting out of here now. And I'm sure there's a speed limit in here. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, there's no speed limit. There's no speed limit. Oh, there's a quick route out there. Look. We have to go through customs though, do we? Right, let's move on over anyway, that's be good. Okay, uh, 3.04 p.m. Uh, it's uh, an hour's worth of jerk drive left, an hour and 36 minutes, 72 miles to go. We're making our way through the Eurostar in Calais. It was a quick journey, 30 minutes, and we made it through. Was it 30 minutes? I think it was 30 minutes, wasn't it? For 300 euros. Let's just swap over. This is one way. I hadn't realised. Swap over here. And we need to come to a stop. And just check. Destination's clear. Yep, that's good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, 50 kilometres or 31 miles per hour. And they're going they're heading to to, to the UK have fun see you later I'm going you can stay there police car I think as well actually uh, the a16 here let's make that indicator on all right well round taking it nice and wide Gotta, yeah, to be fair, you know, um, slow and steady kind of wins the race in this game. Quite often, it's it's slow and steady is the way to do. I mean, my reputation since the beginning of this game has, has been excellent. However, there are a couple of occasions where where my slower pace has not been exactly um, helpful. I'm gonna have to. Oh, come on! Oh, I gotta come out. Damn it! My slower pace has not exactly been helpful with the with the with with my you know my 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 gameplay. It's been it's been it's been it affects it's some of my uh, just on time deliveries where you kind of have to hit the speed limits all the time and be do it do everything perfectly and hope the traffic lights go with you. I mean I know there, there is a reasonable uh, leeway on them, but but uh, it, it's it's oh hang on uh oh oh no. What's what's going on this time round? Oh, it's a crash! Oh no! Oh, I hate that when we see those. Oh, 
This game always stuns me with the with the the, the I know the traffic the amount of traffic on the roads isn't exactly realistic, but the the fact that they put in things like that, there's real realism there, you know. I'm hoping nobody's died. Um, didn't look good for the blue car. I think that just walloped the back of that uh, green one. Green one looked in in pretty bad shape as well. So I, I, we can only hope for the best there. That that was uh, that wasn't a. I wasn't there was no casualties uh, such in the sense of death wise anyway we can hope for for, for a, a reasonable uh, reasonable outcome hopefully from there though I mean there was emergency services there that we had the the ambulance was there that the fire brigade was there to to strip them free so we're, we're, I, th I think I think we're probably all right let's see if we can get out here before this truck comes he'll have to give way there we go it's had to give way Bad starting off though when you've got 18 tons coming up a truck out of a bank embankment and uh, you've got to start again. Looks like it's been raining actually. Looking in the left-hand mirrors, it's sort of a shine to the road, isn't there today? It's like it's like it has been a it's been a bit stormy and it's been, been raining. So when we get there, we've got a couple of things to do. One of which is to check the bank to see where we were at with the cash, uh, see how much I owe. Um, second thing to do is uh, get somewhere to sleep, and then we save for the next, or what we end this episode. And the next time round, we we're we're looking for that new, new lo you know, taking a load and finding that new garage, that new uh, location to park up. Uh, hopefully, um, with enough money to buy a, another truck. We'll try and order that online because there's a there's a there's a steam achievement for that. We might as well do that for buying a truck online because I've not done that before. But I think I'm a big enough uh, fish now in the with the with the company where it is. We're making decent money though. We've, we've made a few more thousand while uh, while we've been we've been driving because the uh, the, the, the 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 two uh, drivers that I have back in the UK, um, uh, lovely drivers, uh, are doing quite well. Their reputation is quite high. I have been uh, changing their training because you can change their training to from long distance to 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 um, high value cargo, which basically means we can get a bit more money from high value cargo. They're both um, four star long distance drivers now, which is really useful. Um, the the stars go up as part of your uh, leveling up experiences. I can level up and I get more unlocks for uh, components for my trucks to, to improve them so so it's kind of cool excellent stuff 32 minutes uh, 22 21 miles 502 is the time that we're meant to be arriving that I'm looking very tired now however we've got a little bit of bedpost left very top corner of the bedpost is, is left Let's get a bit of speed up. I hadn't noticed I can do 56. I'm going to get up to 56. Right, okay. Get up to 56. Can we do it? Yes. Right, cruise control is on at 56 miles per hour. Back to the roads that, that are easier to sort of, now that you you know the standard for, for, for Euro truck. We've had an eventful journey, haven't we, with a few things going on. That crash was a bit of a which was a bad one, and then that that sports car that was the, my favourite. I think I, I think the sports car court was definitely one of my favourites. I want to come over. Don't you be underneath me. There we go, round that corner. Here we go, into the town. I think I need to be, I think I can move over here. Yeah, can't, I'll just move over. Indicate that. Not far away now. There's actually a, a I'm just gonna, I'll tell you what we need to do after this. So once we've, uh, once we've had a little look at the, the bank, uh, we need a little little check of um, one other thing. I wanna have a little look, because there's, there's a garage here. I just wanna, I'm, I'm interested to see what the, the costing is of the garage. Oh, look, go to your She's pulling up beside me. Pushing past me as well. Right, we're we'll going to go. And we're going to stick in this lane because we're going to be turning off shortly for the for the, for the for the destination. Oh, there's a question mark there as well. And there's a, a couple of places. A Euro goodies. We might go there for our, our load that takes us further into Europe. Uh, roundabout. Okay, we're on the roundabout. What a long... Run. That's a long rig he's got there. You gonna go? Yep, good lad. 
I'm gonna come around and we're gonna just underside each other. Yeah, you stay that. I'm gonna come off here. Well done. Right, I think. Our next turning is is where we're at. Look at that! What the heck's that big old tower there? I found a Scania dealer. Very nice. I don't know what the best truck was. Again, I I chose. I'm a bit of a. I think I'm funny, really. I chose um, the the Avico dealer or the Avico truck because, well, I don't think I'd ever seen anybody doing Euro truck with Avico. Oh no. Oh no, I hadn't realised I was taken to one of these places. These have the worst turnings. Look at this narrowness of this. I'm just going to get my nose in and let them do it. Right, I think I'm through. So I might try and do the basic, the, the more the, ba the more basic parking. I, I think, I think that's gonna that's gonna that's gonna drive me nuts in this tight little one. Um, but I th I think I can might do that one. So let's try that one. Okay, let's try this. Look at this for the with the with the rear of the truck. Can you see in that left hand mirror? We are we are most definitely in uh let's get us right up to this wall here and scrape some paint with the with the with the mirror right okay we should be square enough i'm hoping here come on be square enough be square enough oh that looks that looks damn impressive. Let's have a little look. Wow! Can you see it? We are, we are most definitely in the good books. We are in the good books. That is a impressive, from my point of view, impressive bit of parking. Love it. Right, let's do T for trailer and let's get this thing off. There we go. I'm decoupling right now. There we go. They can they can sort out that. Um, it looks like though I'm I'm really low on something. I was just looking there. I, I think I, I think it's either sleep or something else that we're really low on. I've just leveled up. I'm not going to look at the company offers for for this place. We're gonna we're gonna go. I think it depends what we need, whether it's diesel or sleep. We'll do whatever that needs first, then we'll sort out the bank. All right. So let's just continue. Oh right. Um, so this is the important part. This is the bit which allows you to improve the various bits and pieces you've got. Um, so long distance gives you more points for the further you drive. So, so for instance, if I do deliveries up to so beyond that, I get higher, basically higher money. They're all higher money, basically. Just in time, you get more for urgent deliveries, higher rewards for doing it, fragile cargoes, high value cargoes. Um, these are the things I can carry um, legally. Oh, we should have explosives, shouldn't we? Should we be able to class one explosives? Such as dynamite, fireworks, and ammunition. That sounds awesome. I think we should have that. Allows us to carry those. It's certified for that. But at the moment, I've got flammable liquids, which is basically um, explosives. I mean, you've got other things in here that you can you can choose. You can choose that one, which is... Um, corrosive substances can dissolve tissue and corrosion. Acids, basically. Toxic waste. Harmful biomatter. Look at this. Look at all these things you can get. Classification for this one. Flammable solids. I don't, I'm not going to go with the, the long distance. I'll tell you why. Because the long distance is... Um, I'm not doing the above, you know, 900 miles. Or deliveries anywhere. When you get to rank 6 of it. You get 30% more. For deliveries longer than... Oh, deliveries longer than 900, whatever else. So you get... I'm getting a bit more money because of the distances I'm doing at the moment. Over 500 miles, I get 20% 20 more. Um, I'm... I'm, I'm I think I'm going to go with the explosives because I'm a bit, I'm a bit nuts. I think that that, that that sounds like fun. So let's have explosives. But this one's economic driving, which is basically improves your fuel. Um, this one is just in time, which is basically higher rewards for things that need to be uh, delivered on time. Um, they, they, actually, there's some real point scoring exercises in those particular ones. Um, you've got fragile cargo. 
delivering those gives you more points um, you've got um, the same with with high value cargoes and then long distance itself so um, actually no no let's let's uh, you know I've fiddled around here enough time let's go with um let's have some more fragile cargo because that that's going to be interesting I think we'll go with that so so that we get more points from those those more delicate um, items so I'll do that okay and there's new upgrades available basically when we go in here we'll find that there's new bits and pieces available for trucks and doorsteps ninja stralius ninja ones you can have ninja highway ones doorsteps and there's lots of different things and you can set the dps to the local shop to get those additional things get new upgrades for trailers new standard trailers and i like the fact that there's unlocks every time you do it and just just for the just for playing the game you get those unlocks as you go along which is kind of cool right okay quickly let's do the bank and then let's do the other thing whatever we need to do in here so let's have a look and see where we're at with the bank okay so what i'd be looking at is another one of these and then i would hope that i could cover it with another driver so i'd probably have to take that i owe three hundred thousand. it's not as much as i thought i actually owed i must have done, I've done been paid off 17 days worth of it to be fair so um we've got we've got i could get another hundred thousand out um i can i don't think i haven't got enough money to replay it pay it but theoretically, it could repay the loan completely. But I th don't think we will do. Not the well. The interest rate's pretty high, actually. We'll think about that anyway. We might, we might, might do something. But, but um, you know, we have a decent amount of money in the bank. We have um, two hundred and forty-five. With another hundred thousand, that's a garage and another and a, a new truck and a driver, I think. So, so we're quite close to that. You know, three hundred forty-five will pretty much do it. But we'll go have a little look at that. Let's get out of here and see where we're at. We're low on diesel, so we need to get some of that. So, so um, let's let's just get back in the truck and let's get us moving. Let's get out of here. There's a bed over the way as well for some sleep, so um, we need to to do to do that too. But I'm interested to see what that garage is like over there i'm just wondering where the nearest uh, diesel location is though that's going to be a, it's a big one no i don't want jobs i want to push out of here i hate this I hate that one right uh bed first what do you think bed first we're close to it let's do the bed for first i've turned the wrong way idiot and there's a garage here they'll probably let us sleep here anyway yeah they'll let us sleep here that's fair enough you can get some sleep here so this garage would be able to add those additional bits and pieces now i think they're shut now though i think what should we see if they're shut a bit in indecisive here we'll be very more de decisive i don't think we can we can do anything oh maybe but it's still open at the moment so we can do repairs to the truck here. Um, can we buy configurations? Yeah, you can buy extra stuff. So technically, we could choose. Uh, where are they? Uh, this one? No, not the cabin. Accessories, I think it is. So we technically, we can buy door handles. Was it the ninja one there? The star? You go doorstep. So we could get ninja ones, for instance, like that ninja doorsteps ranger ones we've got the standard stock ones on it at the moment we could get serpent ones so there's there's lots of different things you can do or well, you've got wave ones like that so lots of interesting things i think this has got the bars on the front of it yep there's the new one you can get the claw and you can put lights on the claw by the looks of things look all of them are lights accessory sets very expensive though for the claw i don't want it though i don't want it i don't want to buy it at all so um don't want to confirm my order. I want to just exit. Do you want to cancel notifications? Yes. There we go. So that's where you, you can make your alterations basically from it. So that's cool. Right. Okay. Let's have a little look. Um, I think we need to look at the. I need to look at the map. And we need to find a little garage nearby, quickly to 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 get some fuel. there's the closest place there that's where we need to be however it might make more sense to head that kind of direction can I stop there yeah I can right we're gonna go there um, simply because it would make more sense so I should be able to 
Yeah. There, click. I've put that on there, so we're going to GPS and we're going to drive all there. It's an hour's journey, so we'll get we'll get there and fairly quickly, and we'll 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 basically we'll get we'll get ourselves settled in for the night while we're doing that. I hope I've done everything I said I was going to do, and if I haven't, you shout at me in the comments below. Um, we'll get us some diesel first, and then we'll 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 we'll, uh, we'll, we'll sleep for, sleep for the night. Okay. Oof, that police car was close. Very close on the diesel. Not that bad. Not as bad as you think it is, anyway. 31. So much easier to drive without load, though. But it would be. Yeah, fire engine. Maybe he's finished with that. Oh, that was miles back, though, wasn't it? I think. The truck's going round. Okay. And around we go. Swinging it round. Oh, wrong side of the road. There we go. Right side of the road. Treating it more like a car, actually. Once you, once you, once you lose that load, it's kind of easy to do. Right. Oh, interesting turning. Lots of construction going on over there. Look at that. Tons. Yeah, we can buzz along this road at some. Sp we can buzz along easily enough without with without. Uh... Oh rain! Do you know I said about that, didn't I? I said we haven't had any rain in ages, and there it is. I said no rain, and there it is. I love the rain. Don't get enough of it in the game. I almost, I, I, you know, something we've probably got. I've probably got a lot of episodes of this, and there's not enough rain in it. Oh, I'm pushing out. Pushing out. Pushing out. We're going for it. It's lightning as well. Did you see that? Just a second ago. Lightning. Right, I'm going. Let's get the lights on. 1740 there's a car underneath me and I'm almost caught the flipping side of the road there because I just want to get over and I indicate after the fact brilliant some terrible driving going on there right let's get going let's go 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 oh lightning wonderful nice to see the oh, road's a bit slippery less grip I can feel that for certain what a brilliant, what a brilliant little bit of driving though. We've enjoyed that. I enjoyed, certainly enjoyed the, uh, the, the 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 sports car stopped with the with the three police cars and the and the helicopter. That was just blooming awesome, if you ask me. A bit of free roaming going on here. Let's get out, get there. Right, we've got uh, 32 miles to go, 40 minutes. Perfect place to park up. We can head to another city after that. Next next the next time round. We'll, we'll 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 do that. We don't free roam very often, but uh, that's the, this looks like the closest. Uh... Let's get over this side. Yeah, you guys can come off there. I'm going this way. There we go. You guys go that way. I'm going this way. The rain is pouring proper wet it's over, even on the wing mirrors and the side doors it's brilliant I'm speeding oh I love it bit of rain to finish the day amazing okay I'm speeding a little bit there I'm desperate for sleep as well now I'm pulling out. Here we go. Up we come on it now. Right now. I think. 19 minutes. 19 miles. 15 miles. Oh, this is just a stopping place. Ooh. Right, okay. Well, I'm going to push on because I need the diesel. So we need the diesel and I need the rest. So we're just going to push on. Oh, it's over the border. We're entering Belgium, I think it is, isn't it? 
156. Diesel's low, sleep is uncritical. We have 10 minutes to go, eight miles. We can make it. Turn off in 500 meters, that's fine. Getting tired, yes or no? Oh, eyes are dulling. There you go, see, told you about that. Becomes a bit dangerous. 200 meters, it is here, it is here. We can pull in here, we can get some diesel and we can, we can, we can get ourselves a rest. Keep catching the curb. It is here. We are here. Do not, do not worry, my my friendly truck friends. We are here. We are finally here. And we can park at the other side of here. Well, let's get in here. And get some diesel. At least it's nice and dry as well. It's a dry one. Right. Okay. Let's turn the engine off. Let's fill her up. This is going to cost a thousand euros easily. You think a thousand? She's full. 735 euros. Pretty full. Right, okay, let's go. And then the parking is. Here, I think. Truck parking is. Here, I think. There we go. Right. Okay, lights off. Let's not run the battery down and let's rest. We are getting some rest. And it is the evening and the rain has it's not stopped. It's still going. How wonderful. A nice night we must have spent with that. Right. We're going to leave it there. So thank you very much for joining me. Um, um, I've been Real Genetic Demon. Um, please feel free to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye now.